What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. Today we're going to be cleaning up the pistons for the LS 6.0 build. So like I said, today we're gonna to be cleaning up the pistons. As you can see, I kinda of already started. So this is the engine that I'm building for the Trans Am that'll eventually make its way into it. Um, it's kind of a slow process right now, but uh, gonna hopefully make some progress today. I have all the stuff now to get the bottom end of the LS 6.0 build going and assembled. Um, I did acquire some heads, which I'll show you in a future video as well. Hopefully, just hopefully, we can get to polishing the crankshaft as well today, as uh, that would be nice to get that out of the way. We're reusing all the bottom end stuff, um, and I have all the bearings and everything now, so I wanna get going on cleaning stuff and get it reassembled as the block is ready to go. Uh, it's pretty hot in Wisconsin today, so uh, it is like 90 degrees out, which is really hot for Wisconsin. We got the cutoff, uh, we're showing the guns today, so uh, I'll film a little bit of me cleaning the pistons, but not everything because that would just be super boring. So we will get at it though and uh, hopefully get to polishing the crankshaft today as well. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I go about cleaning up a piston. This is what I did for the last three. This is my fourth one. And I probably won't show the other ones just because it's gonna be kind of boring. But I've had the piston soaking in some mineral spirits. I don't know if that really did a, a ton. Um, I found brake cleaner and carb cleaner seems to work a little better. So what I was doing is just I got a steel wire brush and then what I think worked pretty good for cleaning out the rings or the the grooves for the rings is actually an old ring. I just cut it in half and that's kind of the tool I've been using to to scrape it out and that seems to work pretty good. So um, just kind of dipping my brush in mineral spirits and then going at it. So let's do a time lapse. So after a lot of scraping, I got it pretty clean. So to get that, that second groove seems like it's the worst. The uh, top one seems a little easier just because I think it's not baked on quite so bad. If that makes sense. Um, the, the oil ring is pretty easy to get out just because it's bigger. Um, you can fit, you know, more tools in there, but the top ring seems pretty easy to clean it's that second ring that's really the issue so yeah it's pretty dang clean and so now when i'm done um what i want to do is just lube everything up so these don't go dry since we've just been spraying a ton of uh you know carb cleaner and brake cleaner and stuff in there they're not going to be lubricated i also was just taking some fogging oil, spraying the whole piston down so we don't get massive rust and just kind of working the rod. But now everything is nice and coated so we're not going to have any one down and so I already did three so I got four more to go. 
All right guys, it's actually a few days later, but I am going to start working on cleaning up the crankshaft, getting it polished a little bit. As you can see, there's some, uh, you know, oil marks, basically where the rods weren't riding on. Uh, it's, it's smooth there, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, otherwise the crankshaft is in good condition. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. Basically, we got a shoelace, some tape, and then some, some really fine, uh, you know, polishing sandpaper um, for like wet sanding. And then uh, some WD-40 that we're gonna lubricate it with so we can get a really nice good shine on it and everything should seal nice. Um, you know, we'll do all the faces and everything so that uh, our seals have a nice riding surface uh, to make sure everything seals good. So I will set you up on the tripod so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and then we'll walk through one and then we'll probably just do a time lapse on the rest. All right, let's have at her. All right guys, so for the first one, we're just gonna start with the back uh, rear main seal area. And I'm basically just gonna take a thousand grit sandpaper to start off with. I'll probably do a thousand on each to, to get it going and then we're gonna finish with the 2000. But this back one, we're just gonna lubricate up and then we can just use the sandpaper by hand to basically sand down the surfaces. Really nothing super special there. So let's just knock this one out. All right guys, so I got the rear main seal polished up. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. I wouldn't say it's, I mean, it's 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 really good. I mean, that feels super smooth. And that's with a thousand grit, honestly. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the 2000 grit unless I run out of a thousand. Cause this, I mean, that's, that's perfect. A little bit of, you know, almost not pitting, but a little bit of discoloration is right on the edge. That's because that was, you know, sticking out of the seal. Um, but everything else is super nice and smooth. So now let's go to one of these or basically one of these. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with uh, the shoestring to get these inner ones as doing it with your hand would be a little difficult. So what I'm going to do is basically try and cut a piece of sandpaper to roughly about the size or the width of the uh of the journal that we're working with so what i'm gonna do oh no oh, look at that i need to cut it the other way that's not gonna work duh but what i'm gonna do is wrap this around like so relatively tight and i'm gonna tape it with this blue painter's tape but before we do that, we gotta <clears throat> put a little bit of WD-40 on here. Next, we take our shoestring. We're just gonna wrap it around. And we wanna try and span that out a good distance. And then we just move it back and forth. All right, so that was just a couple minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Man, that turned out really good. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, that looks really good. I mean, got the, the little line off. I, honestly, the crankshaft was, was good to begin with. You know, this is what it looked like before it's got just a little oil line, um, but that completely took it off and, you know, it, it does almost feel just, just a little slipperier. 
So yes, that definitely worked good. And that's with a thousand grit. I'm gonna keep going with that. Q mantra video and me working really fast. Twelve seconds later. Ten seconds later. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. Much, much, much later. All right, guys, so I got all of the rest of the pistons cleaned up. As you can see, they cleaned up pretty good. Um, got most of the gunk off them, got all the ring uh, grooves cleaned out, so that's all good. So I have all eight pistons cleaned, and then I also did get the crank fully polished up. And let me just show you quick, it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. It's 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 not perfect by any means, but it definitely turned out pretty good. So um, as you can see, it looks pretty dang shiny. I got everything oiled up nice. You can see that looks good. I did pop the um, gear off as well, the front timing gear. Uh, I'm gonna get a new one of those with the crank out. It was super easy, just used a three jaw puller and uh, they, it, it popped right off, no problem. I just put this on the end of the crank, um, you know, so it didn't damage anything, and it, it popped right off, no problem. Um, so that looks really good. Everything cleaned up really good. All of them look the same. Um, I blew everything out good, and uh, oiled up the crank as well, so that's all done. So really, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet to make sure you see the any updates I do on the 6.0 build as I'm gonna be hopefully getting into it more and uh, get more of these videos out. Uh, next, I think we're gonna be changing the cam bearings. I just gotta get my bench cleaned off, get the block up there so I can work on it. Um, and I have uh, quite a few parts uh, to be able to uh, start assembling on the engine. So I'm gonna hopefully make some headway on that as well. So thanks for joining in and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace guys.